can you solve this math olympiad challenge here's the question given that x equals square root of 19 plus 8 times square root of 3 then the goal is to evaluate this expression x is the port power minus 6x cubed minus 2x squared minus 18x plus 23 all over x squared minus 8x plus 15. So pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. All right, so given this equation, the value of x, the goal is to evaluate this expression. So we need a value for this expression. And this is our solution. So first, of course, let's get the equation x equals square root of 19 plus 8 times square root of 3. And to simplify this, we will use one technique, and that technique is the Abu Kamil's formula. And how this works? Here it is. If we have a pattern square root of the quantity a plus b plus or minus 2 times square root of a b, this is equivalent to square root of a plus or minus square root of b, provided that a is greater than b. Now, for example, we have square root of 8 minus 2 times square root of 15. Now, this 8, we can rewrite this as 5 plus 3. And this 15, we can rewrite this as 5. And this 15, <laughs> and this 15, <laughs> and this 15, we can rewrite this as 5 times 3. Now, using the Abu Kamil's formula, we can say that this expression, square root of 8 minus 2 times square root of 15, is equivalent or equal to square root of 5 minus square root of 3. So that's it. And let's use this to simplify x equals square root of 19 plus 8 times square root of 3. First, let's break this 8 into 2 times 4 because we need 2 instead of 8. Now, this 4, we can rewrite this as square root of 16. Now, multiply square root of 16 times square root of 3. This will give us square root of 16 times 3. Don't multiply because this 19 is 16 plus 3. Now, this is now the pattern for the Abu Kamil's formula. So, we can say that x is equivalent to square root of 16 plus square root of 3. And square root of 16, we can simplify this further as 4. So x is equivalent to 4 plus square root of 3. So using the Abu Kamil's formula, we can say that x, or we can simplify this x as 4 plus square root of 3. But the question is, how this value help us to evaluate this expression? So let's get this equation. And what we're going to do is to subtract 4 on both sides. And now, let's square on both sides. And if we do that, we get x squared minus 8x plus 16 on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we have 3. Now, subtract 3 on both sides. We have x squared minus 8x plus 13 equals 0. Now, take a look at the denominator of this expression. We have x squared minus 8x plus 15. We have 13 right over here. So, if we add 2 on both sides, we get the value of x squared minus 8x plus 15. Now, the problem is this numerator. x raised to the fourth power minus 6x cubed minus 2x squared plus 18x plus 23. So, how do we find the value of this? So, what we're going to do is to take this numerator. And what we're going to do is to divide this by this expression because we will use the remainder theorem. And to do that, we will need the synthetic division, but our divisor is a quadratic. So to do that, let's get our divisor and let's equate this to x squared. So we have x squared equals 8x minus 13. Now we need a box, half box. And on this box, we will need this 8 and the negative 13. And then, what we're going to do is to get the coefficients of the numerator. So we have 1, negative 6, 
negative 2, positive 18, and positive 23. And to do the synthetic division using quadratic divisor, let's have a bar line like this. Now bring down 1, then 1 times 8, this will give us 8. Let's put this answer in this place. And 1 times negative 13 is negative 13. Let's put this on the top. Now, negative 6 plus 8 is positive 2. Then, we will do the same thing. 2 times 8 is 16. Let's put this answer. 2 times negative 13 is negative 26. Now, add negative 2 plus negative 13 is negative 15 plus 16 is 1. So, again, 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times negative 13 is negative 13. Then, add 18 plus negative 26 is negative 8. Plus 8 is 0. 23 minus 13 is 10. And from here, this part is the quotient. And this part is the remainder. Now, since our divisor is a quadratic, therefore, the remainder is a linear. And surprisingly, the term with the coefficient of, or the coefficient of x is 0. So, we don't have any variable x on the remainder. In short, when we divide x to the fourth power minus 6x cubed minus 2x squared plus 18x plus 23 to x squared minus 8x plus 13, we get a quotient of x squared plus 2x plus 1 and the remainder of 10. Now this means that we can rewrite the numerator as x squared plus 2x plus 1, the quotient, times the divisor plus the remainder. And now, using these two results, we can now find the value of this expression. Because we know x squared minus 8x plus 13, this is 0 according to our first result. So 0 times x squared plus 2x plus 1 is 0. So the entire thing is 0. So the value of this expression on the left-hand side is just 10. Now, how about the denominator? So, let's add 2 on both sides. Now, 13 plus 2 is 15. 0 plus 2 is 2. And if we divide this 2 equation, this is what we want to find. And this is equivalent to 10 over 2, which is equivalent to 5. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, Given that x equals square root of 19 plus a times square root of 3, then the value of x raised to the fourth power minus 16x cubed minus 2x squared plus 18x plus 23 all over x squared minus 8x plus 15 simply equal to 5. And as always, we are done.